What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. The fine folks over at Jassian decided that the video that I created on this e-bike did so well that they sent us another one. This is the Retro Volt, and it's in red color. And now, we're gonna have not one, but two bikes. Maybe we'll sell one. What do you think, Daniel? Yeah, so we're gonna unbox this, assemble it, and uh, then take it for a test. All right, bit. so we cut open the four straps that uh, hold the box together and official unboxing. We have a box here, some hardware, some foam, some more foam. Foam, foam. Where's this thing coming from? China? Let's see. It's coming from Made in. It's gotta be China. Ends in an A. What do you think? Daniel? Made in China? Uh, Korea. Korea? No, Korea. Oh no, it's made in the, the CCCP, the Communist People's Party of China. Right, I mean, in China. Okay, does it stand upright? Oh, look, it's got a little flame thing right there, too. Ooh, this one's much better. Wow, this is like a dirt bike. Wow, this one looks pretty cool. <coughs> Take a look at that compared to that. I guess all over. Wow. Look at that. All right, we're going to cut away all this stuff from it and then uh, see what works. Wow. I got to tell you, this thing is pretty effing sweet. It has a little battery uh, life indicator like the Milwaukee batteries do. The M18 batteries are a little toggle switch for on and off it's pretty damn cool if you ask me that is not letting it stay why is it not letting it put that put that up the kickstand there you go let's see it's not letting me there you go keep it balanced all right we're gonna finish putting this thing together we just cut away all the plastic and the zip ties, the duct ties are holding all this together. Um, looks like there's a little light right here. It's pretty cool. Okay. Nicey nice. Much improvement from that version right there. Wow. That's pretty effing cool. All right. We got the handlebar on with the Allen key holding the, I guess, handlebar to the, uh, the shaft there using the same Allen key, tighten up those screws, which hold this aligned to that. Pedals, um, one thread's in clockwise, the other thread's in counterclockwise, also with an occluded wrench. We're gonna see how the front tire gets assembled in a second, but all in all, the two of us have been working on this for about less than 10 minutes and probably in another few minutes we'll be riding all right so a big improvement that i'm noticing from this bike which basically has a tiny little axle right holding on the front wheel onto the forks this one looks much more robust Although I see the... You want the brakes to work? Yeah. Well, I do. I don't know if you do, though. Okay, line those up. And there's a little clip. That goes in right there. There that is there. Hell 
that thing is, but it was loose. For the mud guard. Oh, mud guard. Nice. This thing is pretty effing eff epic. You even have a little footrest there if you want to carry someone in the back. Huge improvement over that model. And I guess this is more of an off-road model. This is more of a commuter version. Well, you know, we're going to carry groceries to the store from the market. It's pretty cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The bike is assembled. 10 minutes to 8 here in the morning on Tuesday, July 9th, 2024. I gotta admit, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. So there's a key right there. And, oh, there's a little scratch. Yeah, the welding could be a little bit better, but it is what it is. It's gone. Oh, no, it's back. Error. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. no. Turn signals. Oh no. Alright, so this little thing wasn't plugged in. And that's the error. We Googled it. Someone actually has a video on it already. And it's not me. Alright. That's the light. Oh, no. Oh, good. <laughs> that would suck. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my God. They said you were going with flames? Yeah. In case, you, had, in case you, you, you question your sexual identity, you can have the flaming e-bike mm -hmm. by Jassion. Yeah. Look, hold on. Oh, hold on. Can I sit there? Oh, yeah, I can sit there, too. All right, see ya. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we need air. <laughs> My fat ass wasn't going. We need air. Tell me how to breathe with no air. What's up? Want to buy it? No, come on. I need two of them. What do you need it for? Make me an offer. Make me an offer. No, make me an offer. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think the Jassian... X Hunter bike is worth. <laughs> All right, so we're using the Milwaukee M12 portable inflator, not included from the Jassion bike. Off camera, made a deal with Lawrence. By the way, this is Lawrence. By the way, he's like, he's a Vin Diesel but with different color. Look at him. This guy's brolic. Look at this. Look at those guns. By the way. Elevation. Mason 360. That's right. Mike comes to work out. He's gonna come to get it. <laughs> so we're filling up the uh, the tires with some air, and then we're gonna go racing. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta give a huge shout out to the folks over at Jassian for sending us their latest version. It's a little bit faster than the, uh, I think this is the X Hunter. Beautiful. You can get these on Amazon. You can also uh, just do, do a Google search for them. Uh, they're roughly between $800 to uh, $1200, $1400, a great value. Uh, this one we did, <laughs> we did rig to uh, remove the speed limiter, the governor on there. Uh, so. <laughs> Come on, we gotta hack it, you know? You know we gotta hack it. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.